When we had last left the Tarnished, they entered Castle Morn, which was currently undergoing a rebellion of the servants who worked there, who happened to be like weird cockatrice people, and they were rebelling against the humans that were ruling over them. But uh, the Tarnished decided to kill fucking everybody except for one guy who they delivered a letter to. And <laughs> they kind of said that they were going to chill out here at the castle until some sacred sword was, I don't know, not allowed to fall into enemy hands or foul hands or tainted hands or something like that. But hopefully they'd fall into some tarnished hands if you know what I'm saying. This is Elden Ring. Welcome back. <laughs> Let's get on out of here. There we are. Head down over this way. Should we jump down immediately or now? Nah, let's cross over. Let's cross over the plank bridge. Oh, it's sleeping. Ow, sugar. There we go. Good. Oh, great. Whew, thank goodness our hammers are just long enough to, like, scratch their toe. Okay. Anything else around here of interest? Eh, maybe not. Well, there is something on the other side of this. We need to keep that in mind. Okay. We'll descend over here, though. More safe way of descending. Can we mount here? No. Nah. Maybe this is a legacy dungeon. Maybe this is one. Oh, didn't one-shot it. Praise the friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> Could this be a friend? <sighs> Fuck, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. Didn't expect item. <laughs> Cave ahead. I guess. Is it a giant headstone there? Something out there. Okay. You know, we haven't seen our barbarian friend yet. In a while. If this is a legacy dungeon. It doesn't feel nearly as big and sweeping as uh, the other one though, right? Oh shit. Like, not as many secrets. Maybe we have yet to uncover the secrets, though. Little crabs, fire arrows. These little crabs are peace-loving. Ah, look carefully. Crab eggs. Good. Over here. Anything? Doesn't seem like it. Liar ahead. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's just the, the rumble zone. Okay. Sure. Well, let us face whatever lurks within. Got my flask of wondrous physique ready as well. We'll slurp it immediately unless there's a cutscene. Yeah, this can't be a legacy dungeon because there's been no cutscenes, you know? <laughs> Fucking go back to the yellow brick road, you weirdo. Oh my gosh. Look at us fuck this thing up. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I fought something that I wasn't supposed to and got a little over level. That said, it wasn't too hard, right? A grafted blade greatsword. Ooh. 
Yeah, there's no way this is like a proper legacy dungeon. It didn't even drop like a remembrance, you know? Why is it always dog? Could this be a strong foe? I don't think so. Okay. Hang on, is that my... No, that's... <laughs> that's my wondrous physic buff. I thought... I was like, oh my god, is the fan on my computer, like, going buck wild? I heard, like, a... But that's my... My sound effect there. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, something in real life is breaking right now. <laughs> but it was just me in the game breaking some fucking skulls. <laughs> fucking amen. <laughs> Do you like that? Is that good? Jeez, the heal over time lasts for quite a while. It's pretty good. I wonder what happens if you double stack them. Can no, you can't double stack them, can you? That'd be too good. Anything else cool here? Well done. You don't think that's the sword they were fucking talking about, huh? <laughs> Fuck, it might be. It may well be. Okay. Cool. Well, uh... Let's go back and talk to the guy, I guess? Fuck, how do you get to him? Behind the castle? Maybe? No, because they were up there, weren't they? They're not down here, right? Yeah. Huh. Oh, we should probably look at that fucking weapon that we got. Let's see. Notice as well, I guess they did mention Godric, didn't they? Godric the Grafted. Grafted Sword. Grafted Blade Greatsword. 40 strength requirement. Oh, it's a Colossal Sword. Okay. How come it's not next to our other Colossal Sword, the Zweihander? Where is this Y-hander? Did I just imagine that we got a Y-hander? Did we not actually get a fucking Y-hander this whole time? I thought we had gotten one. Oh, maybe we read it off of someone's inventory. No way! Did we not actually get it? I guess fucking not. I get, yeah, okay. Sure. Well, this thing is a 40 strength sword. Wherever the fuck it went. Oh, look, we should also read about the whip. A leather whip, not originally used for combat, but as an instrument of pain. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. It can kick. Yeah, I don't know. I've always seen the whips as being sort of not great in these games, unless they're ones that apply status effects. And even then, if you're wanting a status effect applying thing, generally you want one that has, like, I guess in this, a high application percentage, or whatever in those brackets, high application bracket number, or parentheses number. Or it's really fast to apply it really rapidly, you know? And the whips just weren't that great at it. Like, you could make it work, but it wasn't necessarily effective at doing really anything. I guess the idea is that it's good for PvP because it can't be blocked. Maybe. Grafted Blade Greatsword. The storied sword of- oh, it's a Game of Thrones sword. <laughs> is Castle Morn- Castle Morn is also- yeah, it is from Game of Thrones, right? Okay. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. It's a legendary armament? A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting they claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. 
Unique skill, Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. Huh, all attributes. That's interesting. I wonder if you swap off of it if it, uh... Well, it is, I'm assuming, like, super heavy. Yeah, 21 units, so... I don't know if it's worth unequipping and shit. Not just swapping off of. Because you still have to deal with that equip load. Okay. Well, let's go in here and uh, chat up this guy. Man, so finally a strength weapon or whatever that we cannot even fucking wield. Jeez. Alright. Do I even remember how to get back to this fucking dude? Like, holy butt. Should we just fucking run? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. We got quite a few runes. I'm a little... I'm a little hesitant to just run for it. Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Here we go. High risk running. There we are. Open over here. Good. Up here. Climb, climb, climb! <gasps> climb! <laughs> can they climb? <gasps> they can. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's fine that they can climb. I like it. I like that they can climb. That's good. I love that they can climb. I love it for him. I'm gonna climb again, though. Look. I'm gonna keep climbing. I'm never gonna stop climbing. Okay. Now, let's pop down this way. Alright. Fuck. Now I don't quite remember where our dude is. Did we have to kill the flying one? Oh shit. Well, you're out of here. Good. I think it was over here? I think. Yeah, up on this, like, rampart? Okay. Double down, baby. Cool. Alright. Hey. I got the grafted I sword. I your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. I'm no longer bound by duty. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Okay. Thanks to you and devote my oh, remaining new days stuff. to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. What a thing to say. Thanks to you. And devote my arena okay. as I only hope. Well, let's go find Arena. Wasn't she back here by the Bridge of Sacrifice, I think? Sort of on the way into this entire area? Alright. How much damage did that sword deal, by the way? One fifty two baseline. Hmm. String scaling is C. Not half bad. Huh. Yeah. It might actually be good. Well. Do you think we could get another colossal sword? <laughs> like, hmm. Do you think we could get, like, more? Can we dual wield, like, colossal weapons and shit? Colossal swords? 
Yeah. See, wasn't she over here? Oh no, she's dead as hell. Oh shit. Oh fuck, yo, I'm sorry, but uh, y'all really should have treated those servants better. She's dead, it says. Okay. Wow. Visions of tears and then time for revenge. I don't believe it all. I don't believe it. Wow, 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 wow. Should I kill him? Maybe he'll give me his stuff. Okay. Let's rest here and see if it does anything as it fades to black, you know? He's still gonna be over there. <laughs> He's still over there, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, sure, sure. Yeah. Now which direction should we fucking go? Hmm. Do you think we can make an attempt on this fucking thing? Whatever that horrible thing is? <laughs> what was it? It was like some fucked up creature or some, some other. Let's see. Let's go back to our pal. Oh, whoops. Let's go over to our friend and uh, sell off some shit. So we can get a level here. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. And then... Ah, it's you again. Always a... Oh wait, I actually need to check how many units I need for leveling. 14.6k. Okay. So we need... How many more? We need... 4,100... 200. 4,200. Okay. What is it? Four thousand two hundred. There we are. Bye for now. Good. And then let's level up. What should we pick? Strength, I guess. Get that shit up to forty. I don't know if I plan on using the sword. I mean, I guess if we're, we can already use it if we're uh, fucking. And what do you call it? Mode? Two-handing mode, right? Let's see. What's our current damage? 280 and 235. Okay. 280 and 235. So let's unequip that. Can we apply, like, a heavy rating to the sword? Ashes of War. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, maybe you can't. Because it's too... it's considered a legendary armament? Something like that? Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. You can't apply an affinity to it. Okay. Well. There we go. <laughs> it really is just a Game of Thrones sword. Okay. So now we can wield it properly. Oops. Good. And then... Let's see. What kind of damage does it deal? 230. Granted, it is not upgraded. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade it to get, like, better scaling. Well, you can do regular upgrades, I guess. Right. It might be able to reach A scaling. Ashes of War. Yeah, you can't apply Ashes of War to it. So what's its ability then? How's it work? Ah. That's well, quite quick. Okay. What fun. 
I guess it is situationally useful for that. Wow, is that all the HP that it gives? How long does this buff last for? It's kind of lengthy. Huh. Wow, yeah, look at all the HP it gives. So look at my health right now. I'm going to align it with the crack in that. That brick right there. Wow. Holy shit. So what are my stats at? Does it actually actively reflect here? Yeah, my strength is up to 42. Vigor is 38. My HP is 128. Wow, yeah, it gave me over a little over 280. Or 220, I should say. A little over 200, 200, 200 period. Okay. Jeez, the buff on it is not half bad. And it's so quick, too. How much extra poise does it give you? Status. Poise is right there. 36. Okay, if we wait for it to wear off. It's pretty good. Okay, and then status, oh, it's 36, what, okay, well, what can you do? A tempting thing to uh, spend my rare upgrade materials on, assuming you do spend it on this, strength and armament, yeah, somber smithing stone. Holy shit, it really jumps up in efficacy there. Look at that. From just one? Holy shit. Jeez, yeah, it gains like... Roughly 40 points of damage? Just from one smithing stone? Does it cap out at a different level than the regular upgrades, I wonder? Huh. I kind of enjoy that. I kind of like that. Okay. I'm not too sold on the look, though. I do quite like the hammers. And I do quite enjoy the striking power of the hammers, you know. There we are. Good. Neat. Okay. Well, let us proceed on out of here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't need to do this. I'm always going to do this, aren't I? Okay. Let's check out this thing again. Right. We'll try that out and see if we can do any extra damage or whatever against this creature. This horrible beast. Maybe we can resist some of its power in some way. It seems unlikely that we would be able to, though. <laughs> right, it seems uh, fairly fucking powerful. I guess we can use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, right? Maybe that'll help us in this battle. We can, we'll be able to take one hit. Okay. War cry. Oh god. Well, we're doing decent damage, but uh it's quite keen on killing the shit out of me. Oh shit. Oh, I can actually tank a hit now. Okay. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, I don't know what the fuck it's doing there. I'm slurping, stay out of one shot range. Jesus, what the fuck? Jeez. 
Jeez. This is like a nightmare place to fight this. Oh, shit. <laughs> what a terrible place to fight it. Oh my god, what a horrible, horrible place to fight this thing. Oh, shit. It wouldn't be so bad if we had Grace over here. Because then the run back wouldn't be kind of <laughs> nearly so rough. Jeez, that's not cool. Uh -oh. Sure hope we don't get fucking ads. Oh, shit. The fucking downward facing dog slam. Look at this ridiculous place to fight this thing. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What? It's like going all the way into another fucking zone. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't know it closed distance with the third one. I'm always like two up in its ass to even know. Maybe we remove our thing that makes us take like 10% more damage or whatever. Go. Notice noticeably less damage because of uh Oh shit, I'm heavy rolling. Of course I am. I have less stats now. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Well, that's not good. Oh. Well we didn't eat shit. Oh, we almost did there! Oh, we did there, though. Fuck. The only trouble is, like, there's the unreliable part of the fight where we can't see what the fuck is going on sometimes. Fuck me. There we go. Another knockdown. Always good. Fuck off. Oh, shit! I thought it went up top. I'm double slurping. Fuck! Oh, that always fucks me up so bad. The final strike on it. I think I've evaded it, like, once. Fuck off. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Jesus. Oh my god, what a terrible place to fight. Oh shit me. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't know it was doing its flying thing because it was so low to the ground. Because the ground was like that. Fuck me. Okay. What the fuck? Oh god, this bullshit. Oh, this bullshit! What even was that? Oh my god! Jeez! What the fuck is that? What is that? What is going on? like fucking Capra Demon all over again as far as bad places to fight something. Oh shit. I messed up the timing. Man, I don't know. Maybe we can't do this one yet. <laughs> Maybe we need to get a few more levels in this or something until like Shit, I, I don't know. Until we can, like, balance it out with how fucking wild the the terrain is here for us. Because the terrain is really a major hindrance during this one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know how I missed the second one. It was no good. Oh god. Oh, motherfucker. 
this might be the the worst boss to fucking fight so far. <laughs> as far as things kind of feeling out of your control. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this one yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Good. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, I survived, though. Oh, God. Fuck. See, it's even hard to get a read on what animation is about to begin because I'm trying to, like, look at it as it's partially clipping through the building and everything, too. What a fresh hell. Jeez. Oh great, now I can't even hit it. Can't even get my my free hit. Jeez. I can't see shit. There's foliage. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Even the leaves there did me in. Come on. Even the leaves. <laughs> All right. Maybe we maybe we take a break on this one. We come back to this one later. Right. We'll see. Maybe maybe either we we decide to summon on this one to like even the odds against the terrain, or maybe we um. Uh, summon, like, summon the, with the ashes, I should say. Or we wait until we're a little bit higher leveled and we can maybe eat a better hit, eat another hit. Right, because there are still attacks that one-shot us. You know? I think we, we pause on that, that encounter for a bit. Right? Okay. Let's see. What all else do we have here? Where could we go next? I guess there's all this shit. We could check over here, or we could check to the north area. Hmm. Which do we want? I think maybe we go over here to, uh, the deep well. Doesn't this put us outside, though? I'm not sure. Let's find out. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, yeah. We'll call it here for now. It's been uh, a modest amount of time in real life, although I'll have done cuts to shorten that the uh, excruciating run back as well through the multiple load screens and everything. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that one's gotta be the most... Somehow that one feels even more unfair to me than the slowdown, the like frame performance slowdown of fighting the, like, tree sentinel early on, remember? When, like, there were a few f parts when we got actual slowdown. Maybe it's because I'm dying more and, like, messing up more to the terrain being fucking weird. It's making it significantly harder than the slowdown did. Maybe that's why it feels worse. Right, whereas the slowdown, I, it only cost me, like, one death against the tree sentinel, right, early on. I don't know. We'll definitely come back to it. I don't, I don't want to leave it up, right? We'll come back to it. But for now, I guess when next we come back, we'll check out the rest of the hellish area that this creature resides in, right? It seems like a big-ass place. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. If anything, you know what? After we get this map piece, we should probably backtrack and check out some of this, because um, I don't think... Yeah, there's quite a bit over here, like along this dividing area. Yeah, like, we haven't looked at this. There's so much right here in this section that we haven't been to. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>